Hey guys and welcome to another video. Today I want to show you how to set up T-Rex Miner perfectly for the RDX 30 series. Um, it might also work for older NVIDIA GPUs like the 20 or 10th series, but today I want to focus on the RDX 30 series. Uh, maybe you know that I did a video in the past, but T-Rex Miner updated and so we got new features. And I want to show you how to set up T-Rex now with the new feature set that we have all in all. Okay, let's first start. I made three rows because um, one is that you can every time include. The second is that you might want to include. And the third is if you want to do especially overclocking with the T-Rex without the MSI of the burner, which you can see on the right currently. So the first command that you want to include is intensity 25. It maxes out the, uh, the intensity. It makes what it, what it stands for. It puts the highest load or the maximum effort to the GPU for mining. And 24 is the highest that you can get. Kernel 4 is which CUDAs are used and kernel 4 is basically the best for the rdx 30 series DAG build mode 2 you should include this because it uh, prevents the 30 series card from getting bad shares it's not a lot but it helps a bit then gpu report interval um, this specific command is only that you can see in higher intervals more frequently your gpu stats I like to see every five seconds to see what my cards are doing. Uh, stock, this is on 30 seconds. And like you can see here, the five stands, of course, for, for five seconds. So, yeah, this is also the, the lowest value that you can input here. Uh, it doesn't let you drop it more. Then there's another command which is p state in this case p0 it's only p0 available but we also don't need a, another p state it's perfectly um, it locks the card in p state p0 because if you start to mine your uh, megahertz will decrease by around 200 which means if you put in here 1000 and you start the miner it will um, reduce your overclock or the average the, the clock itself by around 200 which means you have 800 instead of 1000 um, this thousand doesn't sound too bad because you can say hey if it decreases my clock uh, with around 200 i just give 200 more yes this is in theory possible but the problem you will get with this um, is that you will get an, a crash while the miner is dagging because it's not instant it takes quite a while so your car clocks up and then it crashes before it can clock down so you want to have it in p state p0 to prevent that your card is crashing while building the dag then we have a uh, coin ethereum this this value locks the miner in only mining ethereum so something unexpected is happening like uh, it suddenly start to mine raven now you might ask why it should start raven well maybe you notice maybe you read you have around one percent miner fee which means uh one percent of the time where the miner is mining it's mining a different coin or rather set in a different wallet and you want to make sure that it's always mining the same coin in this case ethereum that were the commands that you should always include now we come to the second row this is temperature limit and temperature start um, it's not too bad to set a temperature limit because if you leave your home you know uh, suddenly the fan stops or is getting broke you don't want that your card is mining itself to death so you add a temperature limit here um, i suggest around 70 degrees that's really that's really high it's it's okay but it's high you can do it um, the lower the better of course if you know your gpu is always around 55 degrees there is no meaning in setting in higher than 60 degrees because if it reaches 60 degrees when it's always running at 55 
you know there is something wrong so you can set it also lower then the temperature start limit um, it's basically the opposite of the temperature limit so once it hit it hits 70 degrees celsius in this um, example the card will of course uh, cool itself down and if you don't set the command for temperature start it will just cancel the mining but if you set the temperature start limit it will start to mine at 50 uh, 45 degrees celsius so it 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 would look like this the card starts to mine until it reach 70 degrees then the miner shuts the card off waits till it has 45 degrees and restarts the mining on the card then we have devices zero in this case um this this, this means it's the first device um miners or well, computers work different they don't start with one they start with zero so zero is the first gpu um, why you want to do that is maybe um, you have several gpus let's say you want to mine with one nvidia card ethereum and with the other card um, ravencoin then you need to separate those cards and this works with this command so you type in devices zero in the miner where you want for each mine ethereum and devices one for the miner that mines raven now you may ask and what if i want to mine with two cards mm, it's basically the same let's say you have four cards and two are mining ethereum two are mining raven the first two cards are mining ethereum so you put in one comma uh, zero comma one and in the raven coin miner you add two comma three that's it it's really not that hard so and then we come to the more advanced things and you maybe want to try it out first on the the afterburner before you hit the overclocks in here so it's basically pretty simple dash dash pl 70 means uh, 70 percent power limit like i said you have to find out which power limit you need and then you have uh, the m clock this <laughs> this uh, is the memory clock offset so if you put in afterburner plus 1200 this is uh, plus 1000 in this case and then we have the log core clock or rather said dash dash log dash c clock this this uh, locks your memory uh, this locks your gpu clock depends on the card and like i said Jeff, you have to find out which core clock you at least you need at least so yeah let's say um you have a 3080 you want you maybe want to be around 1300 and if you have a 3070 you might want to use around 1100 1200 that are so that are basic figures and then we have the dash dash log dash cv the cv stands for core voltage uh, you need to find out how low you can go the most card should be able to get around 750 millivolts but you can also get lower um, depends on the card depends on the manufacturer um, the lowest that i have seen were 717 like i said you have to find out a bit how low your car can go um, after burner is here a really nice tool before you try to put in those values and now you may want to ask hey how can i add multiple cards it's basically the same like the devices you just enter a comma and now let's say the second card needs 65 percent so you enter 65 it's really not that hard yeah basically that's it there is nothing nothing really new about the t-rex miner it's a miner like always so it doesn't start to fly sadly i hope you enjoyed the video anyways guys um, leave down a comment or like and if you want to subscribe and i would say see you in the next one